Hey, I'm Peter Wise. I'm Senior Vice President and Group General Manager of Warner Brothers uh, Games. So let's talk a little bit about what, how big a leap do you feel 4K is when you look at the overall history of video games thus far? It's really just allowing us to untap the potential of our games and like Im immerse the players in our environments all that much more. So for Shadow of Mordor, we can really push you know, how far you can see on the Sea of Nern, which is this green, lush environment that we created for Mordor. And, like, and sending the player into those environments, having them hunt down their orc or uruk captains and do that for the first time in full resolution like at this 4K level is really exciting for us. There are going to be a lot of people that don't have 4K yet, so what does a 1080p person get from this upgrade? So on the PlayStation Pro, you can plug it into an HDTV. We automatically detect that you know, you're at that HDTV setting, but we'll still super sample the, the texture resolutions. We'll still push even better graphics through that machine to your TV. So you're getting a richer experience than ever before. What are your thoughts about this new platform, this new PlayStation Pro? It's super exciting because we're just starting to explore the potentials of it. So things like HDR, like those are you know, areas that we'll be exploring in the future. So our developers are going to start exploring how to enrich these environments even more, add more color depth, uh, pushing the resolution, like working with the nether realm, and what are they going to do with their fighting games and bringing their cinematics up to that like 60 frames a second fighting quality, but also enriching the fighting environments. We're a rock steady where we're doing an Arkham VR, and we can push like the clarity on that VR on that VR image even farther with PlayStation Pro, so that those edges get less blurry and crisper. So you know, from example after example of how much we're exploring, just immersing the players into those environments, giving players choice about how they want to experience it, like that's what we're always about. Uh, Shadows of Mortar was a game that was already out there. How easy is it to retroactively add these types of features? Uh, well, we, we put a lot of engineering and love into it, so you know, I'm not going to say it was easy, you know, but we had, we had some high-resolution re high textures in our back pocket already, so we had made a lot of the art at higher resolutions, and we were able to just really unlock the potential of all that art we, we had created, put some engineering muscle behind it, and if you haven't experienced Shadow of Mordor yet, it's a great time to do it for the first time because it's more beautiful than ever, or if you haven't played in a while, it's a good time to come back and re-enjoy re, uh, it. What impact do you feel support of the original PlayStation 4 through the HDR uh, patch will have moving forward as people start exploring that? Again, as we start to just dial these knobs, whether it's the PlayStation 4 where we'll just we'll put as much attention to that as the PlayStation 4 Pro, you're just going to have all of these you know richer choices as a player. So it's an exciting time whether you're on the PS4 or the PS4 Pro.